Hey guys, welcome to this science experiment. Today, we're gonna try and do elephant toothpaste. It's time for a science experiment. So here's what you need for this science experiment. We're gonna do two bottles because we wanna try one with sugar and one without sugar. We have our dish soap here, some funnels, cup here, third of a cup here, some yeast, a bowl to let the yeast sit in, some sugar and some water, and some peroxide. Regular peroxide will work, but we're looking for the strong stuff, the stuff that'll make your hair turn blonde if you put it in there. Yeah, we got this at, it's a beauty supply store here in town. You can find it fairly easily there. First, we want to soak our yeast. The water to be warm to activate the yeast because right now it's dormant. Uh, we're gonna put about four tablespoons Same amount to the sugar. We're covering the bottom of the bowl. Now we're gonna add a cup of water to each bowl to activate the yeast. Okay. So now we wanna let that sit for a few minutes. Now we're gonna add two thirds hydrogen peroxide to each bottle. <laughs> Going for the full effect. <laughs> we'll add a copious amount of dish soap to each of them. All right. Very nice. I'm counting to three. One, two, three. One, two. <laughs> One, two. Going for the full effect. <laughs> we simply swirl around. We don't want to make too many bubbles in it. So we're gonna swirl it gently. We're waiting for our yeast to come out of dormancy. We're gonna see if adding sugar to one of them makes a bigger reaction. That's gonna go into the green bottle. Ready, set, go. <laughs> All right, hit it. Oh, come on, super camera. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> nice <birder. laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Cool. Jeez. Wow. I'm gonna call the non-sugar. The success? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we had a serious volume on the first one, on the one with sugar, uh -huh. but the one without sugar is still going. It's still <laughs> coming out. The aftermath. Now at least our mess smells soapy cool. It does. Like morning sunshine. Dude, I come over here and I <laughs> clean for you. Thanks. It's nice and clean. <laughs> wow, guys, that was crazy awesome. If you guys want to watch the behind the scenes of this video, click right here and y'all can go and check that out. It's awesome. If you want to see pictures that we took of all this mess and whatnot, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That would be awesomely shiggity shank of you. So what happened here? Well, imagine if you had a whole bunch of uh, hot air balloons or helium balloons tied together here on the ground. Okay. Okay, what happens whenever you snip one? It starts going high. It starts going high. What if you snipped a whole bunch of them really fast and they had to pass through a curtain? What would they do with the curtain? They would take the curtain with them. They'd take the curtain with them. In this case, we have hydrogen peroxide. It's a pair of hydrogens connected to a pair of oxygens. Well, that extra oxygen wants to rip off and leave you with H2O, water, and then oxygen. That oxygen wants to float just like a balloon. As the balloon goes up, that oxygen goes up, it catches some of the soap and it forms bubbles. And then you have a whole bunch of them released at the same time, coming through a constriction. <laughs> If y'all want more science experiments, make sure to click that subscribe button. Definitely helps me out. And let me know down in the comments below, what science experiment do you want me to do next? Clean up time!